Hi booktube, Lynette here and in today's video I am going to tell you about all the books I plan to read in the month of May. I have six books that I plan to read this month, um, which is an increase again on the previous month. However, it's not, not exactly planned. Um, I've got my usual two that I have for the in-depth read-along and my book club. I have two uh, spins of my Wheel of TBR and I have a carryover from April and then I have one that I'm going to get to because I have a confession to make. So let's dive right in. The first book that I'm going to finish is the carryover from the month of April and that is Frozen Desires by Jessie Donovan. This is book two of her Asylum for Magical Threats series that she wrote quite a few years ago now. Um, her writing style has improved since then, um, so these aren't always the best books to start with. I would always suggest if you're going to start with Jessie Donovan, start with her Dragon series because they are much better written um, and then go back to her earlier works because I guarantee you won't then be disappointed. But this book, like I say, is the second book in the series. Um, the main female character is Cam. She is the sister of the main female character from the first book. And the main male character is Marco, and he was a side character in the previous previous book. So we don't really know very much about him. We don't really know very much about Cam either. All we know is that they have been sent on a mission um, to South America to try and find someone who has some immense magical talents. And Cam is really quite resistant to Marco. There is an attraction there. But she doesn't want to acknowledge it and she doesn't want to do anything about it because Marco has a reputation as a bit of a ladies man and that's not what she wants to be involved with. So the start of the book is all the push and pull of them um, learning to work together. I have started it, like I say, I started it the last couple of days of April and I'm quite keen to finish it off. I'm filming this uh, the bank holiday weekend in May. So I'm probably, hopefully, going to have it finished by the time that this video is up, ready for you to see. The second book that I'm going to put on this month's TBR is, as always, the In-Death Read-Along pick for the month. And I am up to book 17, which is Imitation in Death. There is actually a book 17.5 as well, so I'm going to read that one as well, because I try and read um, the half books as well when they come up in the month. Um, so the actual In-Death book is Imitation in Death. And as usual, we're going to follow uh, Detective Eve Dallas as she investigates a series or a, one particular murder. And we're going to follow her relationships with her husband, Rourke, who will more than likely be involved in some way in solving the crime that's been committed. Obviously, we're going to have all her uh, sidekicks that she has working with her. They're all going to be involved in this book. Um, and it's just going to be a fun ride like they always are and I'm looking forward to it. The second book is called Remember When and this is more a book that's set in the world that Eve Dallas inhabits rather than actually being Eve herself. So the main focus isn't on Eve but she is going to come into it um, and it is someone looking back at their history. Their father was a gangster so somewhere along the line that's all going to come into it. Eve's going to get drawn in um but more as a side character than a main plot but it's listed as book 17.5 so i thought i'd give it a go the third book on my list for may is going to be the book club pick for the month and this month we've gone for a contemporary romance and we are going to be reading the switch by beth o'leary and this one was the one that i actually wanted to pick for this month um so i did vote for it and it's about a young woman and her nan who decide to trade places and how that affects their relationships. Um, one of, the nan lives out in the country and the granddaughter lives in the city and they swap their lives, hence being called the switch. Uh, the young woman, she has a relationship in the city which she then has to maintain and obviously there are going to be other people that um, come into her life because she's moved to um moved to the um the country for a while and then the nan is um, stepping into the granddaughter's life uh so parties and nightlife and just general city life um in total and uh everything that that shows her that she's been missing out on all these years 
I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it sounds like a lovely light read. I um, my April TBR hasn't um, my April wrap up rather hasn't been filmed yet. Um, but it was a little bit of a heavy month in terms of some of the content that I read. Uh, so I'm actually really looking forward to some lighter reading in the month of May. And this is definitely going to fill that brief. So then we move on to my random TBR wheel. And it's... Uh, it was it wasn't too bad to me in April. Um, it actually gave me some fairly easy picks, I'll say, um, because at this point I have read the books and I know what I thought of them. Um, so, yes, let's just get on with it, shall we? And here is the first spin of the wheel. So that's not too bad. Uh, this is a book that has been on my radar for quite a long time, and it's The Last Namsara by Kristin Cicciarelli. Now, I don't really remember much about it, but um, a few years ago in a book box that I was getting, I got a little sampler of the first chapter of The Last Namsara, and it really did pique my interest. And then when the book came out, I invested in the book and never got around to reading it. It's young adult, it's fantasy, and it's set in a world where dragons exist and the main character, she is a dragon singer, I think they refer to it as. And she's able to entice dragons out of hiding because they've gone into hiding. They have been hunted almost to extinction. And she goes and calls on the last dragon and adventures happen from there. Other than that, I have no idea. I don't even really remember. I know it was quite big around the time of its release. It was a big booktube book. And then since it's been released and everybody's hauled it, nobody's talked about reading it. So I have no idea what it's about other than that. And I'm quite looking forward to it because I am on a bit of a fantasy kick. Um, I had quite a fantasy, in some ways, fantasy heavy April. So I am kind of enjoying the fantasy side of it. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to picking this up as well. So let's spin the wheel for the second time. So the second spin has been quite kind to me as well. So I now have a romance book and that is Aries by Felicity Heaton. This is the first book in a series that she's been writing for a couple of years, but I think there's only about four or five of them out at the moment, so I'm not too far behind, like I am with some of her other series. Um, but it's a, a romance series set around the Greek gods and set in a similar world, I think, to maybe um, the Angels series that she wrote. Um, but in this book, we have Greek god Ares, uh, who is fated to meet his forever love. Um, I don't really know very much about it. All I know is it's Felicity Heaton. I absolutely love her romance novels. And when she started releasing the series, I wasn't quite so far behind with her Fated Mate series. So I decided to invest uh, with all the intention of reading and never got around to it. So... This is good because it's going to be another one to knock off my TBR from the last couple of years, uh, definitely the last few years. So I'm really looking forward to it and it should be a nice, quick, easy read if I get a bit bogged down by maybe the fantasy novel and the Christian Cicciarelli novel or uh, maybe what's coming up next. Um, then this will be a nice light relief for me. So now we're on to the final book that I have for the month and as I said at the beginning of the video I have a confession to make. I'm on a book buying ban, I broke the ban. I'm really sorry, I have a defence. In my defence these were books that I once had on my shelves but decided to remove for some reason and um, I regret it. So I had a little bit of spare cash and the prices have been fluctuating and while they were down, I thought that I would invest in them again because I do want to read them. I've been thinking about getting back into this world for a little while and I had to do it. So let's not procrastinate and I'm going to do a little mini book haul in the middle of my TBR video. 
So I have five books here to haul and um, let's just show them to you. Uh, you'll understand the world when you see the first book. Um, but yes, you'll understand that this is a favourite of mine and I have been looking forward to get back into it for a while. But the first book that I bought was The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien and Christopher Tolkien. The Unfinished Tales by J.R.R. and Christopher Tolkien. The Children of Hurin by J.R.R. and Christopher Tolkien. Beren and Luthien by J.R.R. and Christopher Tolkien. And The Fall of Gondolin by J.R.R. and Christopher Tolkien. So now I said right at the beginning of the year when I imposed my book buying ban that if I bought books it would only be in series that I intended to continue. Um, these are more in the world of the Middle Earth rather than actually a series continuation of either The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. Um, but I did read them many years ago and I have been thinking about reading more and I wanted to be more involved in the world. And I did reread them previously. I think I hadn't read The Fall of Gondolin and Beren and Luthien, um, but I had read The Silmarillion, um, The Children of Hurin and The Unfinished Tales. So I really want to reread. So as mm, kind of a punishment for buy, breaking the book buying ban and because I said I'd only buy books if I was going to read them straight away, I've decided that I'm going to add one of these books to my TBR for the next few months until they're finished. They're not ones that I intend to finish straight away. They're probably going to be ones that I dip in and out of as the month goes on. Um, but yes, I do intend to read them over the next few months and hopefully get through them all this time round and obviously I'll be a little bit more immersed in the world. And knowing me, it will probably kickstart a reread of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Um, it's been a few years since I read The Lord of the Rings. I read The Hobbit back in December. I'm probably going to read it again soon. I read it fairly regularly. Um, but yes, so this month, let's get back to this month, I am going to read or start reading The Silmarillion. Um, like I say, these are all based in the world of Middle Earth. Um, most of them, I think, are pre um, The Hobbit. Um, but these, The Silmarillion, are three jewels that were made for the elves. And it's about what happens when they get into the wrong hands. Um, there is a lot more to it than that. Like I say, I read them years ago. I read these when they first came out and I don't really remember very much about them because I only read them once um, because there is lots of information in them because they were cobbled together from notes um, that Tolkien had made and they've been cobbled together by the estate, Tolkien estate. So I'm looking forward to rereading them again and just learning a lot more about the world that he created. So that's my TBR for the month of May. Uh, have you read any of these books? Um, if you have, let me know in the comments down below. If you've got this far in the video, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye.